Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is part two of the different types of non-functional testing. Just to recap, there will be three different parts of this video. Part one is already out, and part three will be out very soon. You don't have to watch them in any order, so you can watch this video, then go back and watch part one, and then watch part three, or this part three to part one, it really doesn't matter. The whole point of breaking it down to different videos is, I don't want to overwhelm you with all the information at one time. Just to recap, remember, the point of testing is to catch bugs, and performance issues as soon as possible. Catching a potential performance issue before deployment versus after can be very costly. The non-functional testing topics that I'll be discussing in this video are volume testing, security testing, and compatibility testing. First, volume testing. As stated in its name, this type of testing tests how your application deals with different volumes of information and data. It is usually done with high volumes of data by inputting large data files, or manually inputting large files of information. The key is you want to make sure that if your application is flooded with large amounts of data at the same time, that it doesn't crash it or even slow it down as a result of all the information being inputted. And most importantly, you want to check to make sure that all your information is still being stored in databases correctly. Because what's the point of being able to handle all this information and data if it doesn't go anywhere? If you're just inputting it, it's not getting saved, then that defeats the whole purpose. And you don't want to wait until your application is scaling to large numbers to realize, whoa, we can't handle this load, and now we're going to lose this large customer base we have. Next, security testing. Security testing tests the safety vulnerabilities in your system. It tries to see how secure the application really is. It will test to see if anyone can hack the system or possibly log into the application without proper authorization. If your application can be easily hacked and have its information stolen, that means users will be less likely to trust your system and use it. And finally, compatibility testing. Compatibility testing tests that your application is compatible with different environments. That means that your application should work with different web browsers such as Firefox or Chrome. It also should work with different operating systems such as Mac or Windows and different devices, maybe using desktop or mobile, as well as different networks and databases. This is very important because it ensures they providing a customer experience no matter how aware your customer might be using your application. And that wraps up part two. As I said, this will be a three-part video. You don't have to watch them in any order. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want another video just like this, please click here. And hey, don't forget to learn something new today.